So in this video, we're gonna be doing five days of like no screen or screen free activities after work because I'm kind of over just since, you know, going from my work laptop to my TV to my phone to my camera. Just need like a bit of an eye break because I'm kind of feeling overstimulated and, you know, just kind of stressed out recently. So I think like a good screen detox is just what I need. So if that sounds of interest to you and you want to join me, maybe you could take the challenge too five days of screen-free activities, then keep watching. All right, so I just got home from work. I was doing a lot of video editing today for work, so I've been staring at a screen. And honestly, I feel like I stopped blinking and my eyes are so dry, so I'm very excited for some screen-free activities today. My activity of choice is gonna be this 350 piece puzzle. Now that I'm looking at it, it's only five and a half inches by 10 inches. So I feel like this is gonna be pretty small. We'll see, we'll see how this comes out. I actually think I'm gonna do this at the end of the table because I'm realizing I probably won't finish this today. So we gotta, we gotta adjust. We're gonna go over here. Oh. I don't know if you can see these, but these pieces are literally the size of my fingernail. That is like so small. How am I supposed to do this? I don't know if this is calming for my eyeballs, but I guess we'll find out. Got my snacks. I have some cucumbers with vinegar and a wine glass, like a mini wine glass full of some chocolate chips. We'll probably see how much I can do in like, you know, 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to do it without screens. So I'm putting away my iPad. Just, if I'm feeling like I want some music, I'll put it on, but right now I'm just gonna sit silent, so. All right. Honestly, doing puzzles is so relaxing for me. I really should do this more often. Many years ago, I went, I was laid off from a, a company and I was like so overwhelmed. That's a whole other story for another video. But I, the day that I got laid off, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna panic. I'm gonna, you know, start spiraling. And instead what I did was I went and I bought like a, I think I had like a, a thousand piece puzzle from one of my best friends who had sent them to me for, or sent it to me for my birthday. And I pretty much just locked myself in a room with this thousand piece puzzle, like in complete silence. And I was just like, all right, I need to just like breathe through the stress of this job loss, like get my mind like, cleared out and saw that the next day I can like refocus and like grind to like find a new job. And I literally spent probably nine or 10 hours in silence, just like doing a puzzle. I didn't put on, <laughs> I didn't put on a show. I didn't put on music. I literally was sitting in actual silence, like everything, my phone was on silent, no music no YouTube on in the background. <laughs> like saying it out loud, it's like kind of sounds like, wow, what the heck? But yeah. And then the next day, and I was like, okay, my brain feels one, accomplished. Two, I think all the stress had been silenced. And you know, three, I was like, okay, I've been, alone and silent for a long time. Let's, let's go. Okay, so I officially finished the puzzle outline. So there's that. I'm not gonna lie to you, as much as I hate to admit it, this puzzle is too small for my eyes. Like I finished it, but it's not easy on the eyes and I, it's not enjoyable. So I think I'm just gonna on the table and come back to it tomorrow and kind of see how I'm feeling about it. It was nice to not have screens and not have any sound. I didn't put on my iPad, so that felt good. But the puzzle itself, I mean, look at this little thing. It is tiny. It's the size of a pencil eraser. I need to get a bigger puzzle. And I do have some in my 
in my closet, so <laughs> I'll get those. But yeah, day one, done. So today's screen free activity will be maybe 20-30 minutes of making cards, like greeting cards. This has been like one of those things that I kind of picked up this hobby later in life. Um, it's not that I'm great at this, it's also kind of like, you know, just like a simple little greeting card. I like art type things, but I'm not very artsy in that I can't draw or paint. And I have recently found that doing, you know, some sort of like stamping project kind of gives me that same sense of satisfaction without getting stressed about like coming up with a concept or like making something that takes a long time. Making cards like literally takes me probably 20 minutes to make like three or four cards and then you know I can just put this away and I'm done with my craft. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just making some cards for people that have different things coming up or just to have some on hand. Okay, first go around was rough. Had a few errors there. The C is not quite what I wanted. And I also think I miscounted how many letters were in mis in uh, congratulations. So, so I thought that there was seven on each side, but this should have been centered a little bit more left. But that's kind of why I like this low stakes, really inexpensive hobby. Um, and realistically, I can just like give this to my sister. Another very successful 30 minute of screen free activities after work. Okay. I was thinking like on my way home from work, I was like, okay, what screen free activity should I do today? And something popped into my brain. I need to show you this. So, backstory, my partner and I, we were gonna have a big wedding we decided to elope, which was amazing, but one of our friends uh, bought us this as a wedding gift because uh, they know that we love Legos. Well, I love Legos, so really, um, our friends were looking out. And it's uh, just a bunch of little succulents. Like, so how freaking cute is that? You can make a few of them or all of them. So I feel like it'd be fun maybe even to like bring this out and you know, we have a few people that we're gonna be hanging with so we could maybe all make them. Like each person maybe like makes one or two. How freaking cute is this? Like Legos, man. I'm so excited to do this. Also progress update on the puzzle. It is done. Uh, it was 500 pieces. I feel like this is like a good sized puzzle about 500 for the week because it's not overwhelming, but it also feels like really good to like accomplish something. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe leave it here for a few days and then rebox it. But yeah, we did it. Day, there was so much screen time. I well, obviously I have work and then I was editing a YouTube video. So then I, after work, I like made dinner and um, I was reading a recipe on my iPad because I, I leave out my iPad when I'm cooking and I have like YouTube and um, a recipe usually side by side. 
then went straight to editing like for 20 minutes on um, a video. So it's been like a lot of stimulation, a lot of inputs into my brain. And I think, uh, you know, it's later in the day, so I didn't obviously do this right after work, but I am going to be reading. Uh, I'm reading uh, Bookshops and Bone Dust. It's the prequel, I guess, to Legends and Lattes, which was my favorite book of last year. So if you haven't read that, you should check it out. I'm about halfway done. I think reading is one of those hobbies that I've never really lost track of. So it's not like I'm rediscovering my love of reading. It's just that sometimes I will go like maybe a week without reading, but today I'm excited. Even 20 minutes will be nice. Um, I'll read some now and then I'll definitely read some before bed, but usually when I'm reading before bed, I can only get through a few pages and then I'm really tired. So I'm gonna read. I'm also just generally feeling like a little bit better after work these days. Like this whole week when I've been really intentional about not having like stimulation all the time, even like 20, 30 minutes, it's been really nice. I've also been driving to work with just really light music on. And then when I drive home from work, I listen to nothing, like complete silence, which has been super helpful. And I think, um, like I live maybe, you know, I like my commute's pretty short. It's less than 30 minutes every day, but just like 30 minutes of silence, I think also counts as like a nice screen free, like input free time. So yeah, feeling like my nervous system is slowly just like starting to reset and just giving myself space for silence and calm has been and like finding little pockets of time. It's not necessarily like long stretches of time, but like little pockets of time where I can like reduce the amount of stimulation has been very nice. So yeah, that's just an update on the week so far. I'm gonna keep reading. All right, so today is day five of finding screen-free activities to do for like 20, 30 minutes after work each day. I was working from home today, so what I think I'm gonna do for the last day is I'm going to be going to a coffee shop and using this book, I have this notebook that I like to use to jot down YouTube ideas and sketch thumbnails. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that but I'll go ahead and end this vlog here. Let me know down in the comments what screen-free activities you like to do after work. Do you drive in silence? Do you like to read after work? Do you draw? I'm always looking for more inspiration and I think I'm gonna try to start carving this like screen-free time into my day-to-day -day, at least every other day because sometimes it's hard to be really intentional with like silence, I guess. and you know, activities each day, but it is, it feels really good. I feel really refreshed. I feel like my nervous system has like kind of settled down from like constant stimulation. And I think I'm just gonna be more mindful going forward about like how much information and content and media and like technology I consume on a day to day. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.